Are you interested in getting yourself some super cheap games, gift cards, and even much, much more? Then head over to G2A.com via the link in the video description to save yourself even more money at checkout. All right, what is going on? What's happening? How is everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Revenue. If you guys here today, is gonna be something crazy and awesome. So we have some drum gun gameplay here for you guys today because this brand new gun is gonna be coming to us here in Fortnite Battle Royale very, very soon. And it has actually been put up onto the new update section in Fortnite. If you guys go log and you guys will to see that the drum gun's coming soon. So we got a lot of stuff here to cover in today's video. So if you guys could do me a favor and drop a fat like on it, like ratings always greatly appreciated if we can break a total of 1500 likes on this video that would be fantastic and I would like to mention that the previous winner that I had tried to announce in my video regarding the 2500 V bucks he never really contacted me whether it be Twitter YouTube message anything like that so if you guys want a chance to actually be able to win those 2500 V bucks I'll just go ahead and throw it here onto this video and pick somebody from the comment section down below so if you guys drop a like on this thing subscribe turn on notifications then comment down below doing all those things that'll get you entered into to that 2500 v bucks and also the very very last day of my 5000 v bucks giveaway so 7500 v bucks are on the line for this video but that all being said and that all out of the way let's get into today's video and talk to you guys about everything we're going to the drum gun everything you need to know about it here in fortnite battle royale okay so starting right on off here we want to talk about some of the more recent weapons that i've actually got put into fortnite battle royale and kind of what has actually been meaning i actually made a video about the hornet smg for those of you guys that have not seen that, I'll be sure to put that at probably as like an end card or something or as an annotation you guys will be able to find, you know, like on screen somewhere around there or even in the description below if you guys have not happened to seen that one. It was a very good video and a lot of people really happen to enjoy it. But also, you know, just talking about stuff that's supposed to be coming to the game or that actually has been put into the game recently. One of the more recent things we've gotten into the game, which was obviously the thermal AR. And I was talking about this in that past video where I was like, okay, we haven't exactly gotten a ton, a ton of like, you know, submachine guns actually put into the game or stuff that would kind of more closely resemble a submachine gun, but this drum gun right here actually isn't even technically a submachine gun. So we have, obviously, like I said, we have the thermal AR. That's more of like a marksman rifle. It's not exactly an assault rifle, in my opinion, because it is semi-auto. It only does, you know, it does a pretty good amount of damage per shot, so you can actually get those, you know, 70, 80, 90, you know, plus headshot damage, you know, only with a single medium round, which is actually really, really good if you think about it, because normally you're not exactly doing that with a you know regular assault rifle I do not believe Fortnite here for me has been absolutely crazy with you know just being super inconsistent here recently so I've been not exactly being able to figure out you know what is really consistent for me and what is not and how much damage should I be doing per shot versus not I'm sure a lot of you guys definitely feel me on this if you guys do feel me on Fortnite being a little bit more inconsistent recently be sure to drop a like on the video that'd be fantastic but kind of getting a little bit more into the drum gun and what you guys need to know about it so I do have some stats and everything up here and I want to read you guys off a little bit of information about it because obviously it's a new gun that's coming to the game and I want to make sure you guys are 100% informed on exactly what is going on with the gun and what you guys really should expect from it before obviously we show some gameplay so uh, the message actually says Epic Games has updated their game news feed to announce the drum gun will be coming to Fortnite soon and it says the message reads a new weapon with a high capacity drum magazine and a quick rate of fire so what this means is obviously this looks like the Thompson from other previous games such as let's say Battlefield, Call of Duty, this other sort of first person shooters that Thompson has been very famous for. I mean, obviously it's like roughly around like a World War II weapon, something, you know, from way, way, way back previous to any of us actually ever being, you know, alive. I mean, because it was made way, way back then, but it's a very popular gun that has been around for a good period of time. It actually says that according to the Storm Shield one, these are the statistics of the drum gun. So it says the rare drum gun, because this actually does come in a rare and uncommon sort of, you know, rarity. So it's going to be right is it blue and then green it's not going to be common so we have common uncommon rare you know legendary and epic and all that stuff so these are going to be rare and uncommon. So the first one here, it says the damage is going to do, I'm assuming this is per shot, it's going to do 27 damage per shot. The fire rate is going to be nine. The magazine size is going to be 50 and the reload time is three seconds and it does take medium ammo. And so we're gonna kind of go a little bit more in depth into that here in just a second. It says the uncommon version of the gun has 26 damage, a fire rate of nine as well, a magazine size of 50 and obviously a reload time of 3.1. 
one five seconds and then uh, obviously it takes medium ammo so something I want to discuss with you guys here real fast is obviously being that this is a submachine gun technically in a previous different first-person shooter titles you know this kind of really does bring up to that sort of like weird uh, thing to me is that like is this actually going to be a submachine gun or is this going to be an assault rifle is this going to be like kind of a hybrid because assault rifles everybody knows in Fortnite no assault rifle in the game has a 50 round magazine but no assault rifle takes light ammo the only things that do have more sort of a higher round capacity is going to be a light machine gun and also let's say you know the submachine guns which you have let's say a 35 round magazine but the drum gun here has a 50 so that's actually a real insane one and that actually just closely remind me of some other submachine guns that I've seen in the past much like the P90 or the FNP90 which I'm sure some of you guys are probably familiar with if you've ever played another first person shooter like I said like you know Call of Duty Battlefield etc etc that is something that you guys probably will be a little more familiar with so so this to me kind of resembles that it's going to be a hybrid SMG slash assault rifle because it does have the medium ammo which obviously all assault rifles in Fortnite take it does have a 50 round magazine which is a lot higher than all the other assault rifles and the damage does 27 per shot for the rare and the 26 for the uncommon so there, there really isn't too much of a benefactor there in terms of you know how much damage per shot you're going to be doing I mean it's regardless probably going to be what is it let's say a four shot kill unless they have if they have absolutely no shield and 100 health and obviously it's going to be a bit more if they do have shield or they have you know a different variation of whatever so yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about there but one of the real big things here is even though it may seem like a very small small minute detail is that the reload time on the rare version of the gun is only is three seconds and on the uncommon it's 3.15 and everybody knows sometimes that split second bit for uh, you know your reload or whatever it may be and stuff can just take a little bit longer that is something that can really screw a lot a lot of people up so next thing here for this video is I figured I want to show you guys some gameplay just because the drum gun right now is not technically in Fortnite Battle Royale what I want to actually go ahead and do is find you the closest thing I could to the drum gun to give you guys a visual representation of really what is actually the drum gun going to look like how is it going to function and really what should you guys expect from the gun itself because obviously nobody has to have the chance to be able to get their hands on it so I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay right up here on screen I'll have some probably some Call of Duty gameplay here in the background just because this is the closest thing possible and the you know the Thompson does have or the, what it's most likely referred to as I do believe in Call of Duty World War 2 as the M1914 I said I believe that's what it's called don't don't crucify me maybe not a lot of you guys play Call Duty World War 2, but this is the most recent iteration in a video game that the Thompson has actually been in, so that's definitely something that you guys should be on the lookout for. It does have the same characteristics of the drum magazine, having a very large size magazine, a very fast rate of fire, and yeah, it's something that a lot of soldiers actually did carry around because it's very good for close quarters combat, and it's also a fairly reliable weapon, so naturally, they've been taking a lot of inspiration from other games and stuff, you know, in the past, and everything like that is for all their different weapons, like, you know, you have the regular M16 or the AR-15, which is, you know, your common fully automatic assault rifle. You do have a bunch of different snipers, LMGs, all that sort of stuff. It all is all taken from real life inspiration. And this is going to be something that is obviously taken from real life inspiration as it literally is a carbon copy paste on one of the most famous, you know, submachine guns here in basically almost American history. So hope you guys happen to have enjoyed that gameplay right there. I thought that was actually fairly interesting to be able to talk to you guys about something and it kind of give you guys some information regarding, you know, the brand new uh, drum gun that's going to be coming to us here very very, very soon. So if you guys haven't have enjoyed that, be sure to drop a like on it. I thought that was pretty sick to be able to show you guys that. And I also wanted to cover here towards the end of the video some stuff regarding season five because I haven't really made a huge video on that. I mean, I've made a couple videos and everything, but I wanted to kind of give you guys some little brief summary thoughts because I did make a video yesterday talking about how, you know, the rocket launch has changed everything for season five. And I wanted to give you guys some of my more thoughts just because I've seen more stuff happen throughout this and there's constant different Easter eggs. And as everything grows I wanted to just you know sum it up for you so if you guys are not aware that the crack in the sky that I talked about and that was actually in the thumbnail of yesterday's video is actually gotten larger and it's only been a single day which is absolutely freaking bonkers that is getting larger and a lot of people are saying that it's going to be kind of like a space-time continuum or that is part of let's say it's cracked the storm shield and basically everything from the outside is going to get in so whether it be the Greeks Egyptians you know whatever it may be the Romans that are supposed to be coming through here for season five and this sort of like space-time warp hole which that Thing is potentially a crack four that's going to be absolutely crazy but something that actually did spawn around the maps and all the different points of interest you guys will be able to find right now in Fortnite Battle Royale is if you go over to some of them like let's say Lonely La 
Lodge, or even I do believe some point Risky Reels, there's actually these little sort of like time portal, like war portal type things that have actually kind of opened up and started to eat away at the different points of interest, which is really interesting. And that's kind of actually leading us to think that since they found some more games files, texts and everything regarding those different locations actually being replaced is the fact that they're actually going to be 100% just sucked off the map and entirely replaced by something specifically for season five. So the map could change very, very soon as we know it. I'll keep you guys 100% up to date as soon as I find out some more information. I just want to cover that here at the end of today's video since that's probably something in a lot of people's minds and you're kind of wondering about it. But with that all being said, that is going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys did have an enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it. A like rating is always greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys, you know, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below because you have the chance to win 7,500 V-Bucks here literally on this video. But with that all being said, my name's been Chuck. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope to see you around on the channel in the future. But until next time, just run on triple cap, don't be a Randy, and I'm out. Peace. Back from the dead.